Hi Scorpio, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it might not resonate for all of you. So you might want to check out your other signs or one of your person's other signs or you can get a personal reading. Our personal readings do give more specific information, just so you guys know. And all that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that for general readings, the roles can be reversed. Alright, let's see. What is going on with Scorpio first half of March? Alright, we have a fear and offer. Alright, why do I feel like this has been a little bit of a theme for for you lately? Alright, there's there could be an offer coming in, definitely, okay? I'm not gonna rule that out, but I'm mostly getting here that there is it's more of a fear of not having an offer, okay, that I feel is um occupying your mind space or your energy currently, alright, or lately. Um and it could be that this it's this fear that might be um, preventing that from from coming in as well. So let's let's see. all right because there could be an offer here on the table. There could be an offer and maybe you have fear. Just some holding on to some fear surrounding that. So let's see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me just see what popped out. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Sun. Yeah, so it feels like you're feeling doubtful about your happiness or um, of being able to find what will make you happy or of that happiness that you might know or you might think you know what it is of that coming in, okay? So there might be some doubts surrounding that, which is pretty much what I was just saying about, about the fear. So let's let's see. First half of March for Scorpio. Okay, so for you, we have the Five of Cups. There you are. See, you're being pessimistic. The Two of Wands and... The King of Pentacles. All right, so there's some pessimism or possibly even a longing from something from the past that may have seemed to be stable, but I feel like there has been some kind of waiting um, that has been happening lately. So it could be that you were with this person at some point in the past. Um, and it feels like you're waiting possibly for this person to come in or there has been some stalling, all right, for there to be a commitment here. And I, I, I get that you you do see this in a pessimistic type of a way, like not sure if this is ever going to come in. But we're going to clarify and see if you are accurate in that or not. All right, so for them we have the King of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Swords. All right, so here's what's going on with this person. Um, if you have a particular person in your mind, this is somebody who holds a lot of love for you, all right, with the King of Cups. Not only that, with the Four of Wands, this is somebody who does feel that this is a more spiritual connection. They feel that having a relationship with you um, would be very strong and it would be very stable, it would be very secure. But there's something about that, something about them feeling that way that needs to be healed. So it could be that maybe for some of you, this person had a fear of commitment. All right, we'll see more when we clarify. Now, if you don't have somebody in particular, and usually my readings are for those of you who um, who are in relationships, but for some reason I'm getting that some of you here might not really be in a relationship, or even if there is somebody that you have on your mind, you might be open to other possibilities as well. And what I'm seeing here is that there is this King of Cups there for you. There is somebody there for you that you can have something very stable and secure with, but they're healing something at the moment, and so there might feel a little bit, um, there might feel like there's a, a pause or some kind of a, like a stalling, all right, until this person heals. 
Also with this King of Cups, I'm actually getting some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. All right, we have the little fish there. Um, yeah, let me see what is coming up in the near future or in the potential future. Normally I don't shuffle again to get the future energies, but for whatever reason I felt guided to. Let's see. All right, so potential future. Ooh, we have the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Hanging Man. All right, you know what? I'm not going to say anything about that. All I'm going to say is that there's definitely a potential here for for passion. All right, there might be a little bit of waiting still, um, but I'll say more when when we clarify. So let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio. So let's clarify the Five of Cups for your energy. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. Not surprised. There's that fear showing up, that anxiety. The Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So you're having a lot of doubts. Um, I feel like you're holding on to a lot of sadness as well, which is creating this stress and this anxiety about having some kind of an offer here with the Page of Pentacles and in particular having a very secure offer that is going to be very committed, all right? It's not just any page, it's the Page of Pentacles just like we have the King of Pentacles, all right? So that's the commitment I feel is a theme here as well as trust. Somebody that you can trust is what you are wanting but you're feeling pessimistic about it. It could be that somebody has betrayed your trust in the past. Um, again, with the, with the High Priestess here, I the way it's coming through is that I feel like you're not so in tune with your intuition, all right, when it comes to these fears or these anxieties. All right, because we have the High Priestess together with the Nine of Swords, so that's a lot of um, mental anguish. And the message here is that that's not coming from your higher self. That's not coming from your higher self, all right? You can't possibly be in tune with your higher self when you're in this energy of the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. So raising your vibration would be something that might help you to get in touch with your intuition and might put you in a, in a um, lighter type of an energy, a lighter mood. So do anything, anything that you feel can help you to just enjoy certain things in life okay um, for some of you meditation could help um, and I know that's such a cliche thing to say but I mean unless you try it consistently and give it a chance for a while you'll never know right and for others of you it could just mean um, walking out in nature um, spending time with friends doing something creative taking up a creative hobby or project or just anything, anything that resonates with you to get yourself out of this energy because it's creating a lot of fear. And that's what's putting you in this stalling energy. And I feel like it's inhibiting this commitment from being able to energetically match with your energy. And that keeps it from coming in. Let's see the two of wands. And you can get through this, you can. All right, we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Three of Wands. Yeah, so you're being called to take some action, all right, because we have two stalling energies here, all right, and right smack in the middle of the Eight of Wands, which is a card, an, an energy of a lot of action. It's actually the opposite of these other two cards, all right, Two of Wands and Three of Wands. That's, that's waiting. That's kind of keeping yourself in the same position, which is okay to do that for a while, but I feel like you're being called to really um, help yourself to get out of this. And sometimes it does take a little bit of effort, okay? And to be honest though, I do see you doing that because I feel like this is also a progression from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands, all right? So it is a progression. There's that movement linking from the Two to the Three. The Two of Wands for me, it's more of a holding back energy, whereas the Three of Wands, it's at least um, trying to put something into motion, 
Okay, so if you have been trying to get out of an energy that feels like this, yeah, take this as encouragement to keep moving in that direction because it's going to pull you out of this funk that you might be in. And it will help you. It will definitely help you. So let me see the King of Pentacles. Because this person does exist. I mean, we have three kings here. Three. Some of, and it's it's actually almost all of the other uh, elements, signs. We have um, earth signs, we have water signs, and we have fire signs, all right? Could be any sign, but just calling out what I see, I mostly pick up this water sign, though. All right, look at that, the four of wands, again. So this king of pentacles, this commitment that you are afraid of not having or that you are doubting whether it will come into your life it's there it's there it's like waiting it's like i feel like that is waiting for you to come out of this energy so that it can begin to um, move in your direction so that it can begin to enter your energy field and approach you i mean this is definitely definitely a very strong and secure um, commitment here. Just keep showing up. All right, so let's see for this person here. Let's see the King of Cups. The Two of Cups. And that's the only card that flew out. Wow. So when I tell you guys that this person holds a lot of love and a lot of emotions for you, like, no joke, <laughs> all right, both the King of Cups and the Two of Cups, there is so much love that this person um, will be able to offer to you. And again, for some of you, it might be somebody you already know, somebody um, from your past, and then for others of you, it might be somebody you haven't, you haven't met yet. <clears throat> you would know. All right, I feel like you would know that intuitively. I do feel like you are very intuitive. It's just that your intuition right now is blocked by fear. Once you remove that fear, you your intuition is just going to really kick into um, high gear. Let me see that. Actually, let's see the Four of Swords because everything else is pretty. Look at that, the Emperor. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Wow. Whoever this is, they're really um, on top of their game here when it comes to something that they're healing. This is somebody who's going to also be very mature in this relationship. Like, not only are they going to um, offer stability and commitment, there will also be very, um, I feel like they're going to be very emotionally intelligent as well. And there will also be a lot of passion, a lot of drive. Um, and somebody who is just very motivated at the same time. Like, it's everything, all right? We have the Emperor. The only thing we don't have is the King of Swords, but the Emperor pretty much covers that as well. All right. Um, I don't know what it is that they're healing. Let's see. Let's see if we can get any more information. Of course, it's going to be different for all of you, but let's just see what we get. Right, we have the Four of Cups, we have Justice, and we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so different types of situations here. For some of them, it could definitely be um, that they are healing from a situation that they were settling in um, and that they're getting out of, that they are correcting now with Justice and the Ace of Swords. Um, for some of them, could even this could even talk about divorce, or it could be talking about some kind of a contract that is coming to, to an end because Justice is also about um, closing out certain contracts all right as well as resolving karma and there being a balance in that um in that field for others it could be something to do even with their with their own self here all right with something that they had been holding on to an energy within themselves that was not ultimately making them happy I really feel like it's something that they are correcting, all right, within their own lives that might not have much to do with you. Whatever it is, they're taking charge. They're taking charge and they're taking action in the right direction here. And again, I feel like what's um, 
what might be keeping this from coming in, all right, yeah, they're still healing. But again, it's also, it's definitely also your fear here. So the more you release that, and I do, like I said, I do see you releasing that, all right, and moving forward. The more you do that, the more that it is allowing this to begin coming in. Let's see this King of Wands for the potential future. Oh, and I just had the <laughs> the King of Swords um, flip over, which is the King I was talking about. That's the only one missing. All right, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. This is somebody who is very um, determined and passionate to have love and to have a relationship. So if this is somebody who had a fear of commitment, I see that changing. All right, and again, it might not be a fear of commitment for a fear of commitment for all of them. For some of them, it could just be that they were involved in the wrong commitment, and so for that reason, they were not able to commit to you. Which doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It could be work related. It could be just any other um, situation. I'm even getting for some of them. It could even be that they were incarcerated. Um, and this is something that they are now resolving and and that that's coming to an end. They're, they're correcting something. Let's see the three, the three of wands and the hanging man. Let me actually just clarify both of them together. All right, we have the Magician and we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting, I'm pretty sure we got this Eight of Swords in this exact same position as well, I can't remember. It was either Cancer or Aquarius. I think it was Aquarius. Anyway, um, <clears throat> all right, yeah. So there's that bit of, of waiting. And I feel like actually this Three of Wands is related to the three of wands that's in your that's in your energy and again I feel like it's up to you like it's your um, it's your movement forward that is going to help to bring this forward it's you waiting for something and holding that fear all right which is why we have the eight of swords holding that fear holding on to that fear is what is just is keeping things a little bit at a standstill even though from the other person's side, it is being manifested. It is being manifested. All right, this Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, all of it, it's all being manifested. It's just taking a little bit of time because they're healing and um, yeah, just strong message here for you to, to really release fears. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear and your happiness does not even depend on having this commitment to begin with, all right? You can be happy regardless of this. This will just be a bonus, a plus, an advantage for you in your life. All right, Scorpio, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message for March. And we have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You just don't realize it sometimes. You forget how strong you are. And you are moving in the right direction, as I said before, all right? You're taking small steps, but you're getting yourself out of this funk. And I feel like, actually, once you do make that first step and you just break through that wall of fear or anxiety or stress or whatever, that's when you're, you're really going to step into your power and th you're going to move so quickly after that. Like, that's just going to, it's going to get the ball rolling for you. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.